YouTube, I'm trying to try, try a, a different um, way of doing videos here. So here we're at Acoustic Corner again. This is a, well, it's a Gibson Hummingbird, isn't it? Um, built by the very person found America. Uh, yes, yeah, so this one had a Gibson decal on the headstock, like a, an overlay thing, which I wasn't comfortable with selling, seeing as it said Gibson on it. Um, it does have the proper Gibson, very nearly the proper Gibson moustache top. So it's like... Lawsuit era. Uh, but so, you've seen Epiphone, you get an awful lot of Epiphones that are like this. This is um, from the 70s. See, it's got quite a few dents and stuff on it, just from, from being so old. Uh, look at look at that there. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it seems amazing. I did have to, I, I put these... I don't know how annoyed you are these. They're not expensive, but the the, the black um, bridge pins. It's black ones I had. I took them out of Yamaha. Uh, there was one missing, and then I managed to find one. So I'd be, yeah, so I got like a cream one, and then when I was taking them out, one of them disintegrated. So because they're so old and they're just plastic, they were probably all going to disintegrate. So these are new ones. Um, yeah. So this is a Columbus model VH59. That might be a maybe 1959 that Gibson did them, something like that maybe. Uh, made in Japan, says in the label. Uh, trapezoid inlays. Um, this has actually got, I don't know what the original tuners would have been like, this has got like 60 quid's worth of Klusen Deluxes on it, so it's kind of worth that. I'm, I just did this up and selling it for a pal. Um, So I was looking at this and I can't tell whether this is a solid top or not. It's not the be all and the end all, the solid top thing. Uh, a very well made guitar is better than a very badly made, like a, a, a very well built guitar that was made out of not the most premium of woods is better than one made out of the best woods built badly. This is in the, who knows what they were doing in the 70s uh, in Japan. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. It's going to be premium, but it might be lamer. But that's fine. Um, so he's got a zero fret as well. So you, the, the action down here, down here is much better than it is normally on these things. Got your trapezoid inlays, um, and no simulated forty or fifty years of patina and drying out. Actually, forty years or fifty years or whatever it is. I'm, I'm assuming this is seventies um, before they started making these things cheap. As you can see, it kind of looks a bit like a. But the, the Epiphone Dove, and I'll just tell you right now, there is no competition between this and an Epiphone Dove. The Epiphone Doves are so expensive for what you get, and they're not good guitars, the ones I've come across. Uh, well, they're all right, but this one is much, much better. Um, also, it just it just looks better. It's like, see, it's got the, you know, there was an era when they painted black headstocks and all that stuff. I mean, yes. I didn't really know what to do with this. I could, if you really wanted to, you could get another overlay or something. If you look at these, I mean, half the fun I have, well, not half of it, but there is a fair percentage of fun finding out exactly what it is. It's probably built by Tarada, who make all the washburns. They're like the big acoustic uh, factory in Japan in the 70s. So it's probably a Tarada built guitar. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for an acoustic guitar with mojo, you know, it's got, so, it's got more mojo than any new guitar. Even ones that you oh, I've got a Murphy ad aged relic one. There's no relicking on this. There is just use. And all those years of drying out and vibrating. 
do make a difference to the sound. That's why they simulate it. You know, if you're buying a really expensive guitar, a lot of that is, you know, making sure all the wood's dried out properly. And it's like they don't they don't dry it out for fifty years or forty years or whatever this is. Um, so yes, going up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. It's Columbus. Um, Columbus are just one of these companies that um, bought in guitars didn't actually make guitars they just bought them and got them with, got their brand put on them so there are really good columbus guitars out there and there are much much cheaper columbus guitars out there which are built completely in a different era and different factories so there's not really anything apart from the fact that they say columbus in common with it you're likely to be able to find this with other brands on it this exact guitar from exactly the same factory everything identical apart from with the with a different label on it um so Yes, if I was more into acoustics, it's electric guitars, I like acoustics, I'm, I can't really play them, well I can, but they're not. I'm afraid acoustic guitars just aren't as cool as electric guitars, for me. Um, but this plays so well. I don't think this will be for sale for very long, because somebody's going to know what they're looking at, just go like, oh, I mean, even just to look at it. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. I didn't really have to do that much cleaning. This, this, although, I mean, looking at it saying, yeah, it's been well looked after. I mean, yes, there's no, the damage, you know, like if you look at it, you can see there, you know, there's like chips and dents. There's no, there's dents from use. There's still plenty of life left in the frets as well. And the uh, rosewood fingerboard, just the quality of wood you used to get back then. There was more wood kicking about. Nowadays, wood is rarer, therefore, to get wood of this level, you're right up the price range to get decent wood. If you buy a whatever it is now, you know, you pay, you know, um, under a, a couple hundred quid for a guitar, you're not getting wood of this level. This is the sort of level, the wood, just because back then it was cheaper. <laughs> um, this is the sort of wood you would get on a, a much, much more expensive guitar than that. None of your composite things in here. Proper rosewood. Yes, so... And it's, so it's also got an adjustable bridge, which, I mean, it's kind of down quite low as low as it goes because it's got a good action, but I suppose the use for that would be if you were playing slide. It'd be dead easy just to crank the action up for playing slide um, just by turning these wee screws. All acoustic guitars should have an adjustable bridge. I don't know why they don't. I suppose it's price, isn't it? Things cost money. Anyhow, rock on. <laughs>